What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. All right, guys. Uh, we've done a lot of Dante stuff, right? We've done a lot of stuff. Uh, we also talked about a tier list that came out yesterday. Uh, I really, really quickly want to talk about something that has somewhat to do with the tier list and somewhat to do with a lot of people's opinions. And I want to just kind of chime in on this. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk regarding which faction, so between Thunder, Flame, and Wind, is the worst and needs the most help, okay? And it's funny, I've been hearing a lot uh, of different opinions. Wind, of course, being the one that doesn't need help at all. Let's just put that out there. Wind is so OP that you can run a four-man wind team or woman team or whatever you want to call it and still dominate in the game without using flame or thunder faction whatsoever. That's how good the wind faction is. And a lot of people use the wind faction as their main building block in the game uh, and rightfully so. But let's take a look at some of the units here, right? We have Street Poison as the best buffer. We have Kami as the best uh, single target DPS on bosses. We have Guile, who's who's top two DPS in the game for uh, free to play specifically. Uh, hell, even for 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 pay, you know pay to win people, he is still you know top two. Uh, pay to win, I should say, he's top four. Uh, and then B Zhang, who's literally the the biggest carry in the game, period, because of the interrupt and the C two that he has. And then I mean, not to mention no slouch. Chun-Li herself is an incredible character who builds super combo gauge, gives crit, is super fast. Abel, who's actually one of the top three tanks in the game. Uh, T-Hawk, who again, can actually carry his own as a tank as well too. Cody, who's a decent assassin and can do back back row damage. Uh, they have the best B unit in the game, which can be used to stun and stop super combos in Cody. And I mean, they got Yun and Yang. I mean, brothers. Yeah, they, they got twin brothers. Like, it's cool, all right? But yeah, so like, Wind is literally the full package and the the way they've created wind is technically how they should create flame and thunder so let's talk about those two and now i want to go to flame next okay i'm going to skip thunder first i can go to flame so a lot of people think flame is the worst faction in the game now i want to want to defend flame a little bit and not flame them as much as you guys and explain why i don't think this is the case okay when you look at this game specifically <clears throat> tanks which is what the Thunder Faction has the most of, um, don't really carry the game. DPS does. And for the fact that this faction has Sea Viper and Dal Sim, so Sea Viper is the best, one of the top assist and one of the top DPS in the game, hands down. Dal Sim is one of the top assists, one of the top AoE DPS in the game, hands down. Uh, Adon is actually one of the better, most underrated buffing DPS units in the game. And DeCapri is actually pretty fast. That's pretty, that's up there. Okay. Um, everything else is pretty mediocre, but because they have C Viper and Dalsim, this gives the edge, in my opinion, over the Thunder faction by quite a big margin. Okay. Now the support here is what's really lacking, right? Fei Long is their support and he's literally built to be a flame only support. He has flame vulnerability that he does, which makes flame units hit harder with their flame damage. And he has a stun or or flame damage himself, right? Not a very good support. He really doesn't bring any other utility outside of that. The two tanks here are not the greatest. Hugo is actually decent, I will say. And so you can't say they don't have they don't have any tanks. DJ is like in my opinion one of the worst tanks in the game. But Hugo can actually hold his own with shields and and healing with his potatoes. The man loves his baked potatoes. So I I will say. They at least have a tank here that can carry them in where the, this is the, the most important, which is the flame tower, right? So if you go here and we go to explore, this is what's going to matter most for these units. As you can see here, 86, one, oh, actually you can't see, so let me move my screen here. Whoop, whoop, right there. Okay, 86, 103, 100. There's a reason why I'm at 86. Okay, if you go to here and you build the team around them, on paper, the team looks okay right? But the problem is they lack any form of cleave, which is going to be your biggest like reason to surpass this, or the main DPS is just too suicidal. In this case, let's talk about them real quick. That's going to be Mad Ryu, right? Now, this is where I think that Thunder Faction is the faction that needs the most help. A lot of people forget this, and because there's a lure about, about Ryu, right? The fact that, uh, well, let me erase this frame. I don't even know why it's here. Uh, hold on, guys. Yes, there he is. Okay. I understand the allure behind Mad Ryu, 
because he's the, he's the main, main character in all the Street Fighter games, he's a little pissed off. He has pretty decent animations, and it's Ryu, right? So people are instantly going to be looking at him as a top DPS. And not to mention, this game kind of feeds you mad Ryu's in the beginning and, and kind of twists your brain around to think that he's like one of the best DPS in the game when he's actually quite, he's actually not. So I think personally, this is what needs the most help. Now, they do have a healer, which is a bonus, right? But Elena in this game, as a healer, really is not going to be used very often unless it's Team 2 and Team 3 and Team 4, right? So we're talking about main team right now. E Honda, amazing tank. You know, Zangief, amazing tank. The problem with tanks in this game is the moment you get this guy, tanks become kind of useless, again, until you hit two, three, four teams, right? But in the beginning, to get to that point, you need to get to stage 36, 24 to even start using two teams, right? So... Tanks here don't really play a pivotal role for quite some time. And then not to mention their AoE when Blanca, a good AoE, but not good enough. It doesn't hit all the units. Here's the first two. Does a good shock, does a good counter, has electric shield. So decent. And then, of course, to compare to the other two AoEs, we talked about combat guy. You saw the showcase. Mediocre unit. Doesn't even dispel properly sometimes. Uh, doesn't do enough damage, unlike the NPC, which does a ton. And then Poison, who's actually decent, but again, small silence percentages, doesn't hit that hard compared to the, like the NPC shows. Um, so again, mediocre at best. And then we have, com you know, compared Charming Dudley to Adon, Adon wins that battle 90% of the time. Uh, Makoto is there as well too, but ramp up tanks really don't do well. A full female team isn't really going to fly in this game. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like you really look at it, guys. I look at the gallery. Who's missing anybody? This game, this game is designed to make win the best, but I think Flame has the edge on Thunder. So I think Thunder needs two things. I think Thunder needs a better. Uh, a main DPS, specifically an AOE DPS. Those are the two things I would bring. So bring in a brand new AOE DPS to help out with the Thunder because Mad Ryu is just not carrying his weight anymore uh, and has not been for a long time. And then for Flame, of course, Flame right here, the real thing they're missing is not a tank or a DPS. The main thing they're missing really is a good support. Create a good buffing support that doesn't just talk about Flame, right? And gives like crit and, and uh, semi, a semi heal even would help. So I think Flame has the edge and Thunder Faction needs the most help. And that's why you'll see a lot of people in Flame Tower and in, in, sorry, in, in the towers really struggle with the Thunder Tower and the Flame and Wind will actually be okay. Right? So let me know what you guys think. I'm curious because like this is my take on it. This is my spin on who needs the most help. And I believe that I'm 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 right, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think and what your thoughts are on this and what you guys would see. Because hey, you know what? Lately, any requests we've been I've been making has somehow come true. So who knows? Maybe a new unit will come out for Thunder Faction. It'll be a good DPS, and we can replace Mad Ryu finally. But I'm curious about your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, let's talk about it on the next one. Take care, guys.